Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Igor Yagupov and Alexei Korotilev. This game was played in Moscow in 2002. Yagupov had white pieces and he started with e4. Korotilev played d6, d4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, bishop to e3, a6. Black is playing so-called modern defense. f4, b5. This is discouraging white from castling a queen side. Bishop to e2, bishop to b7, bishop to f3, queen to c8. Perhaps knight to d7 is stronger. We have a queen to c8, e5, Knight to d7, knight to h3, e6. It is white to move. Perhaps castling is a good move. We have d5. The idea is to open the files and to catch black king before castling. But why didn't castle neither? We have e takes on d5, e takes on d6, now from g to f6, knight takes on d5, knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight and black castled king side. Let's take it back. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? There is a better move than castling. Can you see it? It's bishop takes on b2. And after rook to b1, bishop to c3 check. Black was in a hurry to castle, so we have castling king side. c3. It is black to move again. How should the black continue? Bishop takes bishop on d5 would be the best move for black. Eliminating very important attacker. In the game we have rook to e8 and we have reached the critical position of the game. Rook is attacking the bishop, which is pinned. How should white continue? What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Ready? What's the best move? Protecting the bishop? In the game, white sacrifice the bishop on f7. This is check. King takes bishop. Knight to g5 check. King to f8. Is king to g8 better? It's not. How should white continue now? What would you do? Well, in this case, queen to b3 check, then king to h8 check, king to g8 double check, king to h8, and what now? What would you do? There is checkmate in two moves, smothered checkmate. Okay, so Black played king to f8. Still queen to b3 threatening checkmate. Rook takes bishop check. King to f2. Rook to e2 check gaining time to bring the queen in the game protecting f7. King takes rook. Check. King to f2. Knight to f6. White to move should be easy. What would you do? Rook from h to e1 attacking the queen. Queen must defend f7. White played a move and black designed. Rook takes knight. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Bishop takes rook and now knight takes on h7. Check mate. In this game black had a chance but he missed his chances and lost badly. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.